Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jean P. Garçon. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate a sewing machine. We're going to be working today with the brother LX3817. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on the bell notification in order for you to receive more videos like this. The tools that we're going to be using today is the Phillips screwdriver and a 2mm Allen key. Let's go ahead and turn our power switch on and see what is happening here. Let's go ahead and remove the needle plate to have a closer look of the issue. Alright, so as I am manually operating the hand wheel of the machine, so the top needle doesn't pick up the lower thread. So this is the issue right there. So if it doesn't happen, we're not going to be able to sew anything. So here's a closer look, right? So the top needle is going up too fast. It doesn't align with the silver piece that you see on the bottom. This is the problem that we're going to be fixing today in order to make this machine work. First thing, you want to disconnect the power cable. Uh, before that, you want to turn off your machine, of course. Turn around the machine and remove the four set of, of Phillips screws that is retaining the side panel. Right, so guys, as you are removing your screws, keep in mind, you want to organize your screw. You want to remember exactly where each screw came from. So make you a picture or make you a diagram so you remember where each screw is going back. So that's very important. Remove the screws on the bottom of the machine as well. Remove the uh, pattern selector dial as well. As you're removing this little side piece on the side in front of the machine, there's an additional Phillips screw that you need to remove as well. So keep in mind, keep your screw organized, don't lose them up, keep them organized. So here we have the beautiful sewing mechanism reveal. So the main part that we're gonna be fixing, we're gonna be focused on today, is the little drive on the back right there. So that driver has a, a two set of Allen uh, screw that we're going to be loosening up in order to free the lower section of the sewing machine, which is the um, which is the, is the bobbin case. So with my two millimeter Allen keys, I'm loosening up those screws, as you can see. So you want to loose them up. You don't have to remove them completely. You just want to loose them up in order to free your uh, bobbin case. The reason why you want to do this is because you want to manually uh, spin your bobbin case and uh, aligning, aligning the bobbin case with the uh, 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 top needle. So manually this is what you want to accomplish. So as the top needle is going up, you want it to be closer to that sever piece right there. As you can see, you want it to be closer to that sever piece at there and almost align perfectly. So this is what it needs to be done in order for the top uh, needle to pick up the lower thread. As you can see now, we are able to pick up the lower thread. So let's do a test. Let's install a lower a bobbin following the uh, manufacturer instruction. And let's do a, a, a little test. All right, guys, don't criticize me. My socks is new. This socks is new. It's clean. It's not dirty, all right? I'm wasting a brand new pair of socks. But anyway, for test purposes, it's fine. Here we go. It seems like it's working, right? 
I don't know how to operate it, but the people that operate this machine on a daily basis know what I'm talking about. Let's do a little quick uh, turn, uh, a little quick tour of the inside of the machine. So the machine is powered with a with a six watt motor, which can perform between four thousand and six thousand RPM. All of that is connected to the big wheel. As you can see, the machine has two different compartments: the top one and the bottom one. So the top one uh, is driven with a rod with this beautiful mechanism and the bottom one it has another rod that is uh, making the uh, bobbin case spin around. So here we have our power selector dial, as you all know. And on the back, the power, uh, the power source and all those uh, uh, timing belt as well. So here, that's where you install your uh, top bobbin. And here we see our lower bobbin. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you guys next time for another uh, either calibration video or repair videos. Hey guys, there's one part I forgot to mention. After you align your bobbin case and the top needles, go back in there and, and tight back up your allen keys don't leave them loose like that tie them back up it's very important or it's not gonna be good see you next time